and thank y'all for being here today. Today, I want to talk about the law of action and how it pertains to every day in the physical reality. How it pertains to your health too. The law of action. We have laws in the physical reality where you not you believe in laws or not they exist because there's a law of gravity. Guess what? You ain't gotta believe in it, but when I when you or I stand up, you're not gonna float. It's there. There's a law of attraction. There's a law of action, right? There's a law of gender. There's so many different laws. Even, even if you don't know all of them, today the purpose of this video is to talk about one of them, the law of action. And it ties up to what you talk about in your religious belief when they say faith without works is dead. So I'm speaking of the law of action because today I'm not going to be here but only one hour. And I'm looking at the um, clock now. It's 10... 29 a.m. out here in Arizona mountain time. So at 11 29, I'm I'm bouncing Because the law of action applies to this video because a lot of people on you know You know like on the comments of those videos that's you know reaching a lot of people They really just want to talk about yeah. Yeah, my my pressure is this and yeah I've been having Crohn's disease and yeah, I'm sure leaves you know some people just like to kind of like regurgitate the state of being that they're in and don't want to apply any any action toward it they don't want to do nothing because they sometimes get off on the fact that they cycle like um they're getting attention there it's like an adre adrenaline rush there it's it's like it's like they're comfortable there. They get off on that. So they want to speak on that. You remember back in the day, Grandpa them used to talk about, man, when I was your age, I had to walk 19 miles in the snow, barefooted with one leg amputated to get to school and they beat my ass. And you know, the story just go on and on and on down that spiral, like, right? Well, we're not doing that over here. We're not doing that over here. No, no, I'm not here for that part. No, because I, I practice mindfulness too. Even though even though I come on God is just be healthy page and I try to teach people or help people get out of that slump, don't mean I want to come there and and, 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 and bask in, in, the, in, the, in the nothingness, in, 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 in the hopelessness with nobody that's sick because you know that energy i understand energy and it is neither created nor destroyed it's simply transformed so if i come over here to people that are experiencing this ease and i sit and i and i and i allow my frequency to go down there with them i'm good for nothing for them people i gotta stay i gotta stay in alignment i gotta practice the law of action with me as far as my mindset is concerned with me at all times so we're not here for that Okay, we he, I'm here now. Maybe you're some of you in the, in the, in the in the back here for that, but I'm here to help those that ask the question why because they practice the law of action. They said, "Oh, why me? Why am I going through this here? What could I do?" They practice the law of action. How did they do that? Just simply by their thought because they ask that question. They ask that question. God help me. Why am I going through this here? Is 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 there hope? Is there something that I can do? And lo and behold, since they asked that question to their subconscious mind, they drew me to their simulated reality via TikTok. And here I am, here to help those people who are ready to get out of that, 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 that low frequency and evolve in their life. Because it's a season for us all. See how when I first came in, they had a whole bunch of people up in here. Everybody season ain't, it ain't the season for them to come from over there. So they got to get up out of here because they ain't the ones that are at. It's always like that on any any platform when you go to church wherever you are people just have seasons but according to the law of gender that says there must be male and there must be female principles it lets us know that there's two two sides you know like yin and yang and and black and white so guess what there are people that's energetically here that have to be sick for an appointed time this is balance y'all i'm teaching you balance here just like they have sick people they have healthy people and there's some people that it is still their season to stay in the sick mode. Why is that? Because of their mindset. Why is that? Because they ain't ready. Why is that? Because their alarm clock ain't go off yet. But what you need to do, if you are one of them and you're listening and you're ready, you need to pay attention and practice the law of action to what I'm saying to get you from the sickness to the, to the wellness that you desire. 
that's the part of the story that you're playing right now and that ain't true for everybody and you know how you'll see people they'll, they'll try to share oh look at this watch this it's beautiful to share you know videos that you saw but when you saw it you saw it based upon your subconscious mind being ready to absorb that information what you see ain't for you just like back in the day when we used to go to church and somebody who always showed up missed that day and we, we'll be like oh girl you missed a good sermon da, 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 da. pastor talked about da, 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 da. it wasn't for that person to be there energetically because they wasn't ready for that word but you, you're ready. So I'm going to teach you how, how to get in alignment and stay in alignment by you knowing that you're ready and come on over here to the side of health and wellness by practicing the law of action, by, by downloading the meal plan specific for your blood type in order for you to start eating your highly beneficial foods for your blood type in order for you to clear up your microbiome diversity, get you some digestive enzymes increase your metabolism, clear up your skin, clear up your health, and by you practicing the law of action and staying in alignment as it pertains to you, you cause other people to want to do the seam and seam and seam and the seam because it creates a domino effect. You are the operant power here. This is why this here is for you, about you, coming from you. That's what life is all about. You experiencing you. So when people tell you in the physical reality, oh, you're being selfish, you're really in alignment because life is about you. It comes from you. Your thoughts come from you and they create your reality. The sick people that have been commenting over and over, they are have been creating their reality through thought. Because what does a sick person think about all the time? Being sick. Being sick and wondering how they're going to get healthy or well, right? And so by thinking that and, and feeling that, over and over tomorrow they gotta be sick the next day they gotta be sick you are powerful creators but sometimes in our journey we be creating by default we be creating and regurgitating the past because that's all we think about is past things but this is why it is so important that you renew your mind by practicing the law of action for the things that you want via your mindset put that to work because this here cause and effect <laughs> your thoughts are the cause what you're looking at out here is your effect and so now it's, it's time to have a new thought now it's time to stop to stop speaking that the same word that oh girl ain't nothing working oh i don't think this gonna work either oh man well, yeah, she's trying to get over on people just like the other one. Oh, that's a lie i don't believe this here has been debunked oh no 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 people like that there what I'm t trying to tell you is you not, you, look, I block you. Because <laughs> I know you're not here. I know it's not your season. So what do we, what we got to talk about? Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing to talk about. Not me and you don't have nothing to talk about. We're not like energies. You're not like minded. We're not trying to know thyself because that's where I am. <laughs> the only reason why you met me is because you probably got your eye cracked open to want to get to know yourself. <laughs> but no, I'm not here. I'm not here to stay down there low. I want you to understand that this is about the law of action here. If you're not ready to do the work, please, congratulations on whoever that is right there to just, just here, per, just purchase the meal, plan in the list. That's the law of action right there. But if, for the rest of you, if you're not here to do this work, if you're not here to get in alignment with who you really are and get to know yourself at a cellular letter, level, at an energetic level, at a, at a mental level, physical level spiritual level then buy because i ain't here for you because that's all i talk about i can only give you what's inside of me and that's all that's here up in here knowledge yourself i'm not trying to get you to follow me nowhere nope because guess what i'm gonna point you to sell you your own leader you your own savior i'm not i have the little tools and tricks to help you to manipulate the energy some little nuggets to help you along your way but then after that i'm gonna say bye <laughs> Yeah, it was a pleasure meeting you. Thanks for calling me forth in your reality because I'm not here for nobody to follow me. No, no, no. You put on your whole armor of God for yourself. You save yourself and realize you, you saved it. That's what I'm here for. You get up there and lead yourself to your heaven on earth, to your promised land that you want. It don't have nothing to do with me. I want you to understand this here. Before we move on, understand that thing. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see, insurance won't pay for it, but donate blood or plasma and they will tell you. What are we talking about over there? 
Insurance won't pay for what? Uh -huh, smoke, yeah? Let's see. Oh, here we go. Went to the blood. Went to get blood work done this morning, and the doctor said they can't tell me what blood type. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're talking about. Well, don't go back over there. Well, don't go back over there. He was uh, looking at the comments. In the comment section, it tells you where to go. Amazon. You know how to get to Amazon? Amazon.com, smoke it. You go to Amazon.com and you order the Eldon. E-L-D-O-N at home kit. Let me bring it close. Let me show it to you. Somebody put this here word in the comments. Right? Type this here for Smokey and the other people that don't know. E-L-D-O-N. Could you type that in the comments for me? So other people could, um, that's coming in. Real. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Fly. E-L-D-O-N. Somebody put that in the comments. So you go to Amazon and you order the Elden at home kit. This kit comes with a card inside of this pouch. It comes with a needle for you to prick your uh, ring finger. And the card has four little circles in it. And you just drop in your blood and a little drop of water in all four circles, right? This here is inexpensive. It's under um, uh, this amount of dollars. I don't want to talk about money because they'll block your video on TikTok if you don't talk about money and stuff. The guidelines, whatever. But it's under this amount of dollars for one. And it's under this amount of dollars for a whole family pack of like three, right? And so that's way less expensive than they're going to charge you at the doctor's office because it's going to be five times that amount. You do this in the privacy of your home, three minutes tops. Then after you put the um, blood on the four little circles of the card, this is a little cheat sheet or guide to tell you what your blood type is. Then you look at the card and you, you, you base it on what your circles look like. So for example, if your circles look like those four at the top, like the copper pennies, like look, image at the top, well, that's going to mean that you um, are old and so forth. And guess what? Now you just empowered yourself. Now you just have knowledge of yourself. Now you at home three minutes in less than this amount of dollars know your blood type. Law of action. That's the law of action right there. That's the law of action. That's you <laughs> not creating you by default, but you realizing that you a conscious creator and God darn it, I'm going to do this here thing that I don't have to go. I don't have to do abide by that. I, I have another avenue to explore. There you go. There you go. Amazon.com. Amazon. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Zaria, let me pin that thing right there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for posting that for me. So now smoke it. There's, there's no reason we, we, we don't we have to talk about the, the doctors no more who won't take about um, two or three vials of, um, or tubes of blood from you anyway so that they could filter it and use it for the people and you'll charge you for it. We don't need, we don't need to get bamboozled like that no more now. Nah. Law of action. Bam. We got now we, what now everybody know on this live don't have no excuse why they don't know the blood type or that they can't get the blood type. Yeah, you can. Very inexpensive. Law of action what's next <laughs> what's next now when you know that now you can download your your highly beneficial food list now you can get the list you can get a seven day meal plan based upon your your blood type law of action you got that in your hand what's next what's the next law of action um to get to to making this thing work for you well now you got the list in your hand so what you gonna do with the list you gonna take the list to the grocery store with you you're gonna buy them things that's on the list bring them home good job Law of action. We still got to do some more. We still got to do some more. We, what are we going to do when we bring that stuff home? We're going to eat the whole old stuff? No. We're going to eat the old stuff no more that's already in the pantry. No. We're going to decide consciously what we put it in our body, what we're conscious of. Conscious of being healthy. This momentum of energy that you're building up to become more conscious is working for you. Why is it working? Because love heals all. This is love for self that you practice. And when you get to know yourself here, I want you to understand that part too. So now, so the law of action, we done got this stuff to the house. We did our action. Yeah, this is action. This is our faith. Mm -hmm. Our works. We ain't, we ain't making it dead because we're, well, we're applying this here. We ain't walking around talking about what we know and talking about we're knowledgeable. No, applied knowledge is power. Not just being knowledgeable. You're just regurgitating stuff. So you got the stuff at the house. 
It's in the, you done took the old stuff, scoot the old stuff over. Now you got the new stuff that's highly beneficial but for your blood type. Now, now you think you're going to be healthy now? No. Mm -mm. You ain't there yet. You got to eat it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to put it in your mouth and you got to chew it. You got to digest that thing. You got to allow your blood and the food that you're now eating that are in a, that is in alignment with your blood to create a chemical reaction. <laughs> see, see, this go back to what I was saying earlier. Energy is neither created nor destroyed, it's simply transformed. So you got to allow the energy in your body to transform. You got to allow the blood and the new food that's highly beneficial for your blood type to transform inside of you, you know, to bring life back to that hydrochloric acid that you probably put out by wheat and dairy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To get rid of that mucus and fungus. Yeah. To develop the create the um, digestive enzymes inside of your gut. Yeah. You got to allow that energy transformation to happen inside of you. You got to allow that bowel movement with the parasites and pathogens to come out of you via your bowel. It got to go through your large and small intestines. It's, it got it got to it got to go through a state of action, too. You got to allow the back up to your blood, which is your lymphatic system <laughs> to start to clear out. And it's only going to clear out by the law of action by you putting the key lime water or the lemon water in your mouth, swallowing the thing so that the lymphatic system can, can grab a hold to that and it start to break up the uric acid and the lactic acid build up inside of you. It ain't going to happen if it's just sitting in the pantry and you ain't chew it now. You ain't going to happen like that. No, 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 not where the state of being you are in. It'll happen like that if you were at a higher frequency and then you can manifest a little bit more energetically then. But when you're sick, when you, um, you're feeling dis-ease and disharmony, that's akin to having low frequency. You can't manifest down there. This is why you got to really practice the law of action down there in order for you to get up here. There's a zero to 14, seven being neutral. If you are sick or experiencing dis-ease and disharmony, you underneath your seven. So not only are you underneath your seven energetically as far as sickness and wellness is concerned, you underneath the seven as far as manifestation is concerned. You only creating over here based upon sickness in the things that you are not wanting. It's hard to manifest when your mind is on sickness. It's hard to manifest when your mind is on pain. At least you manifest in some more pain and more sickness. This is why I want you to renew your mind. This is why I want you to start eating different types of food to get the foods that's over here. You need to be in them so you can increase your frequency and jump to over that positive 7.35. See, I, this is teaching you health, wellness, mindfulness quantum jumping law of action all at the same darn time you see where i'm going with this here this ain't just about no physical this is mental too yeah this is spiritual too this is love too this is love for self because how dare you want to stay over there and you know you underneath the 7.35 love for self will say and i'm getting up out of here and I'm going to order this stuff. I'm going to order this here, this here Elden at home kit because I love myself. And I need to get to know myself because getting to know myself is getting to know God. Okay, now I, I got to know myself. Now I know I'm an O, I know I'm an A, I know I'm a B, I know I'm an AB. You know, now that I know myself in that area, I want to deeply fall in love with me even more than that. I got to get to know. I got to know that I know that I know that I know. So so what things go in alignment with that type of blood? I'm going to download this here meal plan now. Yeah, because I want to know. I want to know for myself. I want to chew this thing and I want to feel this thing. I want to feel this warmth in my stomach i want to feel my stomach replenishing its hydrochloric acid by the foods that i'm eating i want to feel my stomach creating these digestive um enzymes getting rid of this old fungus this old yeast this old mold that's been sitting up here that i can smell when i belt that i can smell when i use the bowel when i have a bowel movement that I could feel energetically that something is sitting up in here and I haven't cleaned up house in umpteen years. I done got my oil changed, but I ain't never changed a darn thing about my body. I want to know myself. Because there's something about myself. 
There's something precious about myself. I spent all of my years getting to know that woman, that man, that religion practice, those music songs, those famous people out there. I know all about astrology and numerology and quantum physics and all these things that I've been read in books. And I know about the, the Egyptian pyramids and all of this here stuff about Thod and, and the Buddha and Krishna and, and Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. I know all of that stuff out there. But I ain't never spent time to get to know myself. Even when all of those things where I was reading about, they were telling me, showing me an allegory text in different ways that this is all about me and that the kingdom of God lies within me. But I've been out there. I asked my doctor. I asked my lawyer. I asked my girlfriend. I asked my boyfriend. I asked my boss. I asked the judge. I asked everybody. But I never asked myself. I never went in here and got to know myself. Because that's where the kingdom of God was the whole time. But all I had to do was practice the law of action to get to know me. All I had to do was pay attention to the way that I felt energetically. Because my body was always sending me signals. It sent me signals when I was eating the things that I should not have been consuming. It sent me signals when I was eating the things that I should have been consuming. Because when I put the things that were beneficial to me, as I look at my meal plan list, and when I ate that thing in the past, God darn, that thing was good. Yeah, that was true for me. When I first licked on some gray Celtic soap, I just licked it all out of my hand. Why was that? Because everybody, every blood type need to sell salts for electrolytes because we're electric beings <laughs> and we need electric food. So yeah, my body was talking to me. Oh, okay. So now this is love for self at a cellular level. Now this is me getting to know myself at an energetic level. Now this is me experiencing me and getting to know the God within me. This is bigger than just this lady telling me to eat this thing. This woman is teaching me how to manipulate energy so I can wake myself up in a physical reality and tap into my true power. No wonder she's so passionate about this here. No wonder she comes here every day around 10 a.m and talk to me about what I'm putting in my mouth. I wonder why she cared about me like that there. The law of action, because I know that love heals all. Love heals all, baby. I wouldn't lie to you. I wouldn't waste my time talking to near one of you if I didn't know that love heals all. But it's love for self. But it's the greatest commandment of them all. That you love the Lord our God with all of your heart. Well, where is God? The kingdom of God is within you. Okay, 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 I get it. Well, what is the second of the greatest commandment? That you love your neighbor. You love your neighbor as you love yourself. Well, what, what, what? You bringing me back to the love for self? Why is that? Because all of your neighbors are expressions of yourself vibrating at different frequencies because you are running into you out there again. So how about you just love yourself? <laughs> how about you put yourself first? Why? Because life is happening through you, not to you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Are y'all getting that out there? Are y'all getting this thing? I know y'all gotta be getting it over here on God is just be because this is, I teach your mindfulness over here. Are you new people over here on the physical side getting this thing? You gotta do the work. You can come here and look at me every day if you want to. I'll talk to you. But until you do some work, you just sitting there at the same frequency on sickness frequency. Until you practice the law of action. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I call my business the salt of the earth. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses savior, you will be good for nothing but to be trampled over by men. And you can find that happening every day when you go to the doctor. You just get trampled over by men. Here, try this. Here, we got a we got a new drug. We want to try that on you. You if you can't breathe, you're still getting worse. <laughs> you're still feeling bad. We're going to push your appointment back to next month. Oh, but Doc, I thought this was seemingly emergency. No, you're getting trampled over by men. 
You getting trampled over by those that maybe have a higher frequency because your frequency ain't, 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 ain't energetically getting you the things that you want. You're getting trampled over. Don't you sit there and get trampled over when I'm giving you everything you need to thrive. At least you want to get sit there and get trampled over. At least you want to. Because everybody energetically is asking the blessings of God, a yea and amen. And it goes according to how you feel, your feelings, your thought, your expression. That's how you ask. And ask through your subconscious mind and you shall receive. You go receive these thoughts, those habitual thoughts that you think nobody can hear. That's how you're creating your reality. Based upon the stuff that you're telling yourself. Oh, I'm fat. I'm surely as ugly. Oh, I ain't gonna never work out for me. He doesn't like me. He's gonna cheat on me. She just wants my money. I'm gonna lose my house. All of these negative things. You think nobody can hear that, but guess what hears it? The universe, your subconscious mind, your imagination, and it's creating that thing because of your mindset. Let this mind be in you. You remember that from the biblical text? Finally, my brother, and thinking not strange, whatsoever things that are lovely, that are just, that are pure, if they be any virtue in them, think on these things. Think it not robbery to be equal with God. Tell them, I am sent you. You remember these things? These things were about you because you're the I am. Your spoken word and thought is the I am. I am healthy. I am perfect. I am a great communicator. These are the I am's I tell myself. I am healthy. I am whole. I am prosperous. I am abundance, I am beauty, <laughs> I am grace, I am love, I am joy, I am perfect peace. I am a creator creating, I am a manifester manifesting. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I tell myself. What are you telling yourself? What are you acting upon? Because you could get the meal plan and you could still tell yourself some stuff. They had some people and I had to block them because they had a whole, they whole paragraphs up in on my page on God is just to be healthy. I had to block, block them because it wasn't their time. They were just murmuring and complaining and didn't want to do anything. They had some people that just was constantly saying, no, I, I tried it for a week, but it didn't help me. It didn't help me. And, and it, so it don't work. That means it don't work. Because let me tell you, is is you know I I didn't had I didn't had lupus and this autoimmune disease and you know there's no hope for people like us. There's no hope. I had to block them because I couldn't have them in my comments, stripping the hope from the ones that's trying to be hopeful. That's why I had to block them. It ain't their season anyway. So you have people who will still believe while they sick that what I'm telling them won't hurt, help them. And so shall it be for those people based upon their habitual thinking. You could, somebody could give you the whole, the whole remedy. Tell you exactly what's gonna happen to your body as far as what's gonna happen when you, when you consume these foods and begin to detox. Tell you how it's gonna look and how it's feeling. And you will sit there and you'll be like, and your habitual thinking, she they ain't, gonna, they ain't gonna work for me. And so your subconscious mind, your habitual thoughts have to yield to you that what you are thinking, that what you are believing in. Because every day, this is what you're battling. You're battling this here polarity, two sides. And so whether you're gonna be healthy, if it's gonna work for you, it's competing, whether it ain't gonna work for you, but the one you give more energy to, the one that has the most momentum is the one that's gonna win. And they have sick people that have so much momentum, so many years of doubting their, their health, of doubting, of believing that they're gonna die, of being scared of that thing, of worrying that thing, always find the negative thought in that thing, and so shall it be, guess what? That thought won. 
when they had another thought that they could have been thinking. They had another thought that they could have been giving momentum to. They could have got the Elden at home kit. They could have bought the foods that was highly beneficial for their blood type. They could have digested that thing. They could have begun to say, oh, I'm feeling better. Oh, I'm optimistic. Oh, I can feel my energy returning. Oh, I slept good at night. Oh, I'm so happy that I ran into God and just be healthy. Oh, oh, oh. And then that thought would have outweighed that thought. And guess what? This thought would have won. But they decided to think the shittiest thought instead. <laughs> it's by the renewing of your mind. And so, and so really and truly, I want you to know this here part about the game. So we play in the game of life and everything in this particular simulated environment has a certain coding, right? It has a coding to it. <laughs> everything is coded to be at a certain frequency. Everything is energy. Everything moves. Everything vibrates. Some things are just, just vibrating slow. Some things are vibrating really, really fast. But all things are energy. All things have momentum. All things is alive energetically. This is energy. The phone is energy. I'm energy. Our feelings are energy. All things are energy, frequency, and vibration. So in this matrix that's coded with all of this energy and frequency, we're supposed to be the manipulators of this energy. And so there are certain foods that have had a certain frequency in the coding of the matrix, right? <laughs> Peep this, because it's something I'm above this energy frequency I want you to realize. Because what I'm saying here is your God in the physical form, but you probably don't know that just yet. So in this coding of this matrix of all of this energy, all these foods that have different frequencies, once you abide by the coding, because when you uh, when at a low frequency, you have to abide by the coding of the laws of the land first. And so I'm telling you to stop eating the ones that's coded at a low frequency for your blood type and start eat the ones that are at a high frequency for your blood type. And so what that's going to do is transform that high frequency of that food inside of your body. And now your energy and your body is going to be at a higher frequency. But peep this, it gets even better than that. When you begin to elevate your frequency, you can turn around and decide because now not only is your love for self high, your frequency high, your momentum high, your knowledge and power is high, your DNA now has been activated. Now you can turn around and look at all foods and eat what you really want to because you didn't practice mindfulness. This is why it says in the biblical text, nothing shall by no means harm them. Oh, but it's harming the ones that's at the low frequency that ain't got their mind fixed up yet. It's harming them. But you could get to a level where, hmm, I could eat what I want. I'm going to just bless my food because now I'm energetically po more powerful than it seems. In the beginning, you so, we become so powerless that we got to go to the food to get the, the energy from the food, from the trees, <laughs> because they know how to stay in alignment. They know how to be still and know that they got. They just surrender to the sun. They just get deeply rooted with the minerals outside. But we we wobble with our frequency. We pick up the thoughts of others. We 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 pick up our negative thoughts. We absorb other negative thoughts all day. And we become wobbling with our energy. So we think those negative thoughts when we're eating this negative food, on top of it being manipulated to, to send out a signal at a low frequency. We eating it negatively, we thinking of it negatively, and we become more negative. Congratulations to whoever that was that decided to practice the law of action. <laughs> and so because we, we sit there and we eat the negative thing and we think the negative thing, we become negative in our momentum because our energy is decreasing. Going below the 7.35. And those people down there, let me tell you what seven, below 7.35 energetically means. Sickness, disease, maybe cancer. When you get to zero, that's flat line. Oh, you, you, you didn't do it this year lifetime. Go back out since your energy. Go to the nine physical and come back in in a new avatar body and do it all over again. <laughs> do it all over again. You can you, you, you figure it out this year lifetime. Here we go. We're gonna just wipe you out and you just come on back and you get to do it all over again. I guess I'll see you next lifetime. No, 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 no hard feelings, they say. <laughs> so the trees, these fruits, these herbs, these spices that I'm telling you, 
we're actually here to help you if you if you choose the ones that are in alignment with your blood type when you own that frequency but then you get to a place in your in your in your knowing this is helping you with, with building up your confidence that you are actually a creator creating <laughs> a manifester manifesting yeah it's building up all this here you going to the store to get this here this is love for self building up your superpowers knowledge of self <laughs> you practicing the law of action over here yeah, mentalism, all of that beautiful stuff you're doing on your journey. And then you could turn around and you could say, Oh, I'm gonna just bless it. Because now I have the 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 activation of my dormant DNA. And I'm gonna be alright. Because now I know <laughs> that my mind, that the 99.99 .99 spiritual will always beat that 0 0.01 physical. It always wins because I'm a conscious creator and I create with my thoughts and I can manipulate any energy now and I can be, do, or have anything and I am the I am, okay? I am the I am. When I, I'm, when I say that, I mean you, 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 you are who you say you are. You are. You, 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 you are who you say you are. And so shall it be. Okay, I'm done ranting. I, but I had to get that out and upload that to my YouTube channel. If y'all have some questions up in here, I'll go through the questions right quick. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, I done got all, I done got all hot up in here. I had a whole sermon. Y'all tap the screen. I'm at one point. Thank y'all. 5,000 likes over here. I'm at 1.9. They got 51 people over here. They got 29 people over here. You learn how to give, baby. Law of action. Tap the screen. Let's get over here. Let's get over here to 5,000. I gave to you a message that your largest part of you, your soul, needed to hear today. I'm not here playing games with you. This is for your soul expansion. Every dimension that you ever enter in, you're going to need to understand the law of action and your mentalism. Tap the screen. Learn how to give to people that's pouring into your soul. I could give you a little bounce or grab the wall for you, but if I leave nothing for you, for your soul, I have left you no thing. Tap the screen and learn how to give to people that's sowing into your expansion in life. 5,000 likes over here. Let's get to 5,000 likes over here because y'all know better. I'm fussing at y'all now because y'all know better. This is the mindfulness page over here. <laughs> Let's see. All right. So hands down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me see what they talk about over here. So we talked about the insurance plan. It ain't paying for it. Um, I just purchased all blood types. Uh, it did not download. Nope. It did not download. No, I can't get back to it. Oh, now you can't get back to it. Did you check your spam? Did you check your spam? Did you what email address? It's gonna go into your emails. Check your email account. Whatever email address you put inside of there, that's where it's gonna immediately go to. It's an immediate download. So you gotta check your email. First thing, when you was on the um, per, um, purchase now page, you could have downloaded it to your computer. I mean, or to your cell phone. But then if you didn't do that, it sent a link on your email receipt. So you go to the email receipt, click on that link for whatever email you put in. If you don't see it in your email, check your spam because maybe it went to your junk folder since you maybe never got an email from me before. If it's not there, that means you put the wrong email address. So then you should email me and I'll send you um, the link again. Send me your email address by, by emailing me at saltoftheearthpub at gmail.com. See this here, right here on the screen, salt of the earth pub, and then put at gmail.com behind it. And then um, when you email me that, I'll, um, I'll send it to you if, you if you can't find it after all of them options have been explored. Thank you for um, putting you first, babe. Let's see, let me look through this comment. We have 4,000 over here. We almost at five, 4.0. We almost there. Y'all tap the screen over here. Y'all tap the screen. Tap the screen to get us to 5,000. We have 4.1. Hey, Georgia. Hey, Linus. Hey, uh, Mind. Yes, loved. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing, powerful. The truth will set us free. Yes, indeed. You were so right about that fly. Hello from South Carolina. Hello. 
I am love. Nicole, hey, babe. I like that username. It's beautiful. Man, this, this iron light got me hot up in here. Let's see. Hey, Gary. Hey, user240. Hey, Tiffany. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, coach. It's offering time. Yeah, 66 is offering time. We have 4.8. Let's get to 5,000 over there. Look at look at this here. 26 people over here. They got to 6.6. .6, and they have all, all these extra people on this page. And y'all y'all just looking at me, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all saying I look cute today in my orange? That's what it is? Okay, okay. I'm at the bottom. I'm at the bottom. Okay, okay. They didn't have nothing up in here. That was just people liking and tapping the screen. Let's see. So did you get yours? Um, AT, ATR, I don't know what that word is supposed to be. Atribit, is, if that's your username, let me look. Um, it's your birthright to have your heart's desire. You have to know it's frequency, not words. Yes, ye are gods. Look at truth saves. Truth knows. Yeah, truth talking about speed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. You can lead them to the water, but they have to take, yeah, take the drink. Take the drink. Yeah. Take the drink. The olds are in the house. Yeah, hey, goddess. Here come the olds. <laughs> God, you speak my language. Yes, yes. So y'all hear me, divine one speak. Get to know thyself. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. I'm caught up with the comments. Any questions? Just pick it in. Hey, Miss Ben Soul, thank you. This person, I'm waiting for this person to reply because I don't want to go nowhere until I'm, I'm, I, I know that they purchase went through. Let me look on here and see if their name look like the name of the person just ordered. No, it don't look like that. But let me know. I hope that person, um, maybe they got it and they looking at it and they left it live. But if not, they'll email me. Let me check my emails right quick while I'm on here. Let me see. Let's see. I'm gonna go through right quick. I'm gonna go through right quick how to um how to get on there for those of you who are looking. Oh, maybe it's that person there. That name looks like it could be that person's name. I won't give out that person's name, but I see a person. I see the, it went through. Miss A. I see it went through. Let me go through it right quick. How we do it. So this here is my homepage right right here is a link to my website sort of the earth pub.org and so when you get to the website you just as soon as you open it up you're gonna see the box at the top of the screen for purchasing you know it's taking forever I got so many computers on okay this is the top of the screen the home page of my website and right here at the top right here these words are saying um, eat right for your blood type meal plan and list so all you really have to do is click right there and it's going to bring you directly to the item you don't have to scroll down no more i put it at the top of the page so you're looking for an image that looks like this it's just showing your blood types and you put in your blood type right here so it says choose option so you're just choosing your blood type and when you choose your blood type i'm gonna just choose b and i'm gonna add it to the cart. add to cart right here after you add it to the cart you just click right here view cart now, when you hit view cart, as you hit and view cart, it's going to ask you your information and you put in proceed to check out, but you have to put in your email address when you're checking out. It's asking you for your name and address and everything, but you got to put in your email address so it can go to you. It won't allow you to move forward unless you put in an email address. If you put the wrong email address then it's going to be sent to that wrong email address. But if you do that, email me and I can verify that you, you know, you had a typo on your email address and then I'll send it to you. But there's no reason why you shouldn't get it because on this screen, after you purchase, you're going to have a pink button on this screen to tell you download now. And you can download it here on this screen now. But if you forget to do that, I'm sending you a receipt. So you could click on the link that's in your email of your receipt, which it has a link for the same document. It's ready and it's instantly go to your email address. So, yes, I got it. Oh, yes. 
Um, yep, I thought that was you. I didn't want to say your name, Alberta. I saw that. Okay, perfect. I didn't want to say your name in case you was, you know, hide your name or whatever. I got it. Okay, perfect. Hey, hair lips. Thank you. I pray for guidance about my health this morning. And your message was on point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Perfect timing. That's alignment right there. The name of the website, sawtherapub.org. It's in my profile. It's in my profile. Let me see something if I can do this here. Let's see. Let me, let me see, let me see, let me see. Here we go. Right there. There you go. It's in, um, it's in the comment section now. That's the website address. So the earth pub dot org. And Miss Alberta got hers. And it's 11.14 and I'm on time because I said I was gonna, wasn't going to run my mouth all day today. Because I'll be on here for hours. Do y'all have any questions before I go? Before I go, I want to share with you all at 10 p.m. tonight. For, um for um energetically some some tibetan bowl singing and so i'll be coming on tonight if you're drifting off to sleep it'll be beautiful for you to be there because I, I talk about health and wellness but i really am into mindfulness more than anything i'm just trying to grab them people that are sick so we can help them increase their frequency and get they they you know get on to evolving in their journey but i have some tibetan um bowls and i have some rain sticks and different sounds that I'm going to be singing tonight or using to sing with tonight at 10 p.m. And I want you all to join me if you see me on live. And so the purpose, I'll tell you the purpose of that too energetically. Even music is energy, right? So all things are energy, frequency, and vibration. And when music is attuned to like 432 hertz of frequency, it has a power to heal you in your body. Your chakra pools of energy. And when I say if you don't know what chakra pools of energy is, just imagine you have an energy wheel or portals in your body and they correlate with different organs in your body. And so when you hear certain sounds from this here music that's attuned to 432 hertz of energy, based upon the bowl that I'm hitting, it can resonate and heal those particular organs from your, your lowest um, chakra pool of energy all the way to your, your head, you know, from the, from the soles of your feet to the top of your head. And so just by you listening to it, because your body has memory, just like how we talk about this food, your blood has memory, how it's interacting chemically to the food that you're eating, or your body has, in, uh, has memory to sounds. And so when I hit these bowls, and if, as you allow your body to hear, or your, your ears to hear these sounds, it's gonna tune your body or, or um, promote healing in your body or prompt your body for healing to open up and so it's, it'll be the perfect thing for you to do at that time to think about the things that you're wanting whether it's good health with you know well prosperity you know just to feel love just just to be at peace at that moment and not want anything whatever it is just put that on your mind because we're practicing mindfulness now, the beautiful thing that I'm doing, the beautiful reason why I'm doing it at night is because when you get sleepy, your subconscious mind, which is the seat of your soul, your first eye, your conscious records, your land book of life, or whatever you call it, your God within, when you start to drift off to sleep or get sleepy, your subconscious mind is wide open to new command, new feelings, new experiences, right? And if you begin to think about those experiences, your subconscious mind does not know whether you're sleeping or you're still awake. And so it, it'll allow you to be at a, 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 felt, a, a theta state of brain frequency to manipulate the energy to trick your mind into thinking you're experiencing that abundance. You're experiencing that wholeness, that health, or whatever it is. You close your eyes, you milk that feeling while you're hearing the Tibetan bowls. <laughs> and then you just create it from the nothingness. The zero point energy that all life stem from. The darkness that all life stem from. Hence in the biblical text it says the darkness that was on the face of the deep. All creation stem from that darkness. That brainwave frequency. That nothingness. So just be at peace with it and allow yourself to at least check in for maybe about 5 to 10 minutes if you have that. Set your alarm clock to just check in. I'm not going to be talking on that one. I'm hitting the bowl, and I want you to feel that energy. I want you to feel like peace. I want you to feel like wellness. I want you to feel like abundance. I want you to practice the I am. I am wealth. I am abundance. I am wholeness. I am energy. 
I am all. I am happy. I am whatever it is that you want to be, baby. You are the I am. So check in with me tonight, 10 p.m. tonight. So I'm in mo I'm mountain time. So my mountain time right now is 11, 18 a.m. So check in, set your clock to my, to sync up with my time, my mountain time, and be in the room. Because it's time for you to wake up. You asked for me to come forward, here I am. And if, as long as you listen to me, I'm going to keep telling you in different ways. Every video, I'm going to keep on telling you that you're God. And you could be, do, and have anything that you want in this physical reality. Life is happening through you, not to you. And I want you to be accountable for that. And anybody that tell you anything and tell you, tell you, you got to go find this one and follow this one. You leave them people alone. If the religion or, or life is not leading you back to you, you get up out of there. Because life is indeed happening through you. Okay? All right. That'll be, it'll be midnight. Well, guess what? Crack one of them eyes open, uh, Kilo. Crack one of them eyes open. Y'all know how to do the nasty at midnight. Y'all make wake up and do the nasty at midnight. What's wrong with make, waking up a little bit for five or ten minutes and, and, and listen to some Tibetan music for your soul? Hmm? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I suffer from um, Martin's and the pain is unbearable. Let's start eating. Clean up the gut. Clean up the gut. We're going to clean. Who is this? Um... Darlene, okay, we're going to start cleaning up the gut. We're going to start eating for our blood type. The alchemist oil is the most powerful form of um, oregano that there is, and it is good for pain. You can take it both internally and externally. I suggest you order that for pain. But in the meantime, outside of getting what's going to alleviate the pain, because remember, the pain is a symptom. The pain is the effect. The cause is what you have been eating that caused you to be inflamed at that level where it's unbearable. So you have to do two things. So for them right now, get some pain medication to get you on your feet or get, get enough momentum to ask somebody to get on their feet for you to get you the foods that you need. All foods that coincide with your blood type will help you with that inflammation because we will take away the lectins that were built up Lectins are created when you eat foods that are not in alignment with your blood type. Your blood and the food creates a chemical reaction called negative lectins that cause inflammation. They tear holes inside of your digestive system. You get leaky gut from this here. You get ulcers from this here. Autoimmune dis he disease here. Lupus, high blood pressure, diabetes, all because of this one thing. Your blood and the food create a chemical reaction called lectins and put you on fire. And hell yeah, it's painful to be on fire. Feel like pain. But you got to go back to the core of rebuilding where 70 to 80% of your immunity lies. Your gut. And so I can give you, I can tell you to order the alchemist oil. And you could try the alchemist oil. It's going to help you with the pain. But I want you to know, to heal the pain once and for all, you got to clear this here. Ain't no getting around it. You're bald headed, you need to clear this here. Your, your lymphatic system swole, you need to clear this here. You got the gout, clean this here. You can't see, clear this here. Bad breath, clear this here. Yeast infections, clear this here. Lupus, here. Everything, here. Ain't no getting around here. Here, then you're gonna be in pain. Then the back up to your lymphatic, your blood, which is the lymphatic system, is gonna be clogged up. Cause it's gonna be clogged up with acid. System is supposed to be clearing out. Congratulations to whoever that is on a journey of health and wellness. The lymphatic system is a back backup for the blood system. If it get clogged up and it can't release, based upon constantly putting things up in here, now the blood is is gonna be <laughs> messed with. You won't mess with the blood. You want the blood not to be able to get filtered. You gotta help your body clear this here. That's it. That's it. It's all right here. And how this got in here? Somebody put that in here. Somebody put that in there to get in there. Who put that in there? Me and you. So we got to be mindful. We put what we put in here that got in here that's causing us the stuff that we got to heal pain from. The symptoms. You see? It's, it's us. It's us. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate the, the roses. This is so beautiful. It's us. Thank you for the follow. Seema. Thank you. Okay, so that's your answer. 
There is no other answer. And I, I'm trying to be as tactful as I can and loving it and heartfelt as I can. But that's the answer. So now you got to do something. You got to want this thing. I've been in pain. I've experienced sickness and disease. I thought I was going to die. That's why I do this here. I dedicate my life to helping my reflexes. I'm retired now. I dedicate my time. I got a house full of people right now. I said, but I told them, I was like, hey, don't pass right here. You heard me in the beginning of the video. I said, don't pass right here because people will see you. I got a house full of people. But I'm talking to y'all because I've been where y'all are. And I want you to experience life with good help. With good help. And it's about what you put in here. Because you're supposed to be loving on yourself. You're supposed to be picky and choosy with what you put in here. Just like in your relationships. You're supposed to, oh, I don't think it was a pleasure meeting you. But based upon where you are in life, I don't think we're a great fit. Yeah. Yeah. I must go now. Yeah. That's the same way. Same way. So if you the type of person that's out there that's just letting people just treat you any kind of way, life gonna keep on showing you you. So that means you're gonna treat yourself any kind of way when it pertains to food. Girl, give me that. I don't know what that is, but it's your day. Good. Give me some more. If you don't care about what you put in in here, that says a lot about how you are acting in other areas of your life. It matters. Because you're supposed to be taking care of where the kingdom of God is. You're supposed to be taking care of yourself. You're supposed to be loving on yourself. Because you ain't good for nothing if you ain't doing that for yourself. You think your reflection's gonna do that for you? No, because life's supposed to be happening through you. You sending a signal to your reflection that hey, I don't care. Give it to me, I don't care. That's a signal energetically that you're saying. Stop saying that. Just stop. And that means stop eating that. That means start loving me more. That mean reading ingredients. I have a whole tra power within transformation course that take you to the grocery store on my website. Tell you a little how to read uh, harmful ingredients. Back 10 years ago, when I first started this here thing, I was leaving that behind for my children. Here now I'm helping other people to, in the masses with those videos that I was leaving for them for when they got ready. Because I understand this one thing, I ain't trying to create another people reality. When they ready, Oh, you, you, you know when they're ready because they're going to start practicing the law of action. But I teach them. I teach my family and my friends. I got a whole house right now full of different foods for A, B's, the A, B's up in here, and the O's. And I've been cooking for, for four blood types. Well, I entertain company just to show them how love for self what it look like. Just to show them so maybe they'll remember even when they leave. And if they don't never do these things that I'm doing for them, maybe they'll remember, oh, when I was over there by B house, she had this here on the side for me. I made a salad yesterday and I had sides for the salad because the main salad was what everybody could eat. And then a little side for them to put on the salad based upon the highly beneficial herbs and, and, and vegetables for them was put in individual little plates. And so they could add that to the main part that everybody could have. You see what I'm going here? That's love for self. Like, no, don't give me nothing that's not highly beneficial. That ain't going to activate my dormant DNA. This is why in the biblical text, the first miracle that Jesus in the allegory text that he performed was turning water into wine. Symbolic of that blood being renewed because it's always about the blood. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood has signed my name. You see what I'm saying here? It's the blood of the lamb. The blood of Jesus. But you are the Christ conscious one. You just don't know it yet. So it's about your blood. It's about you renewing your mind. It's about you renewing your body. It's about you activating your dormant DNA. But you think it's about people out there. I told you that life is happening to you, not to you. It ain't about the people out there. It's about you experiencing you. And you getting to know you on an energetic level, on a spiritual level, on a quantum physics level, on an emotional level, on all levels. Because you exist simultaneously on all levels. You probably just don't know that just yet. But keep hanging around me. I'm, I'm going to help you figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. I ain't had no nasty. <laughs> That's funny. 
Yes, you okay. I see. Well, we're gonna catch up. Maybe one day I'll do it in the daytime, Kilo, and then you'll be able to um, experience the Tibetan bowls too. Thank you. I will work on my gut. Yeah, do that. Do that for you, babe. You deserve it. You deserve it. You're worthy. You're perfect. I like this color on you. Think, think. What should um, I avoid if I'm be positive? I'm gonna be. Uh, you should purchase the um, full list because it tells you on the list what you should avoid. But um, for me, just off the dome, being a B, um, I avoid, did rather, when I first started, I would avoid um, soy. I would avoid bread. Um, bees are actually more diverse than any any of the other blood types, right? And I put a, I have a, a video on what the bees should avoid on my, on my Goddess Just Be Healthy page for more things. But I just want to let you know the bees, we're more diverse and we actually can um, trump different diseases and sicknesses really, really easy because we're the only ones that really could eat from all um, types of foods. Like we could have meats, we could have dairy, we could, you know, have some grains and we could have nuts, you know, we could have a little bit of everything. We're more diverse. For example, like the eggs, they should avoid like dairy and mucus forming things. But all blood types, I'll tell you this here, all blood types should stay away from pork. Oh, and for bees, we should stay away from pork and actually from chicken. And you keep in mind now that pork and chicken are not real. And when I say they're not real, man made them and manipulated them by putting two different types of animals together. The pork is the most toxic animal of them all. They use pork actually when they go to clean out the little fields in the yo in the um in the land to make them like golf fields, you know, because the pork being that it's a nasty little animal. It could go out into the field and it could clean up the snakes and the rats and whatever is out there. All of the garbage and stuff. They only eat it. And even if it gets stung. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I should have turned my ring off. Even if it gets stung by a snake or something like that. The pork will hold on to the venom. You know, it does not release its toxins or anything. So you're really eating the nastiest of them all when you are consuming of the pork. Because it holds on to so much. No matter if you clean it with the, your little vinegar. Even if you clean it with the amethyst oil that I created to get rid of, you know, viruses and parasites and everything like that, there, I would still say no to the pork because of its a whole lifestyle. It's like you ain't going to particularly take something that's life purpose is to clean toxins up and, and kind of manipulate the energy with it unless you practice in mindfulness and if you're sick or whatever, you ain't there just yet. So for all blood types, no, leave that thing alone. Let the pork, let the, let the pork clean the fields. And the chicken ain't real either. So you can move over maybe to turkey instead of your chicken for your blood type. But leave the, leave the pork and chicken alone. It's not going to be the end of the world. There's other meats out there. You'll see that there are other things out there for your blood type that you can consume. And you'll feel good. You will, have not, you will not have that inflammation. You will not have that sickness and disease no more if you just eat according to your blood type. Right? Let's see, I've been trying to stop. Oh, it's 11.31. I got to get out of here. I've been trying to stop, um, the, I guess that's chicken. I um, took one back because I was grossed out. The wings be calling me. Oh, AB. Oh, you are AB? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you got to be mindful of that because you could um, produce a lot of mucus fooling with that. Or just go vegan. Yeah, yeah. Depending on your blood type because going vegan is not good for everybody. Okay. All right. I'm caught up on my, um, is that D Deli Delilah? Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. I, I wonder if that's the lady that I admire so much on this TikTok. It, it surprised me when I saw that name. If you, if that is you, thank you. I love watching your content. I haven't seen you on here in a while. Hey, Malcolm. Yeah, but you can't go vegan for everybody because um, the O's, the O's, they, they fall back with going vegan because they have the highest of all hydrochloric acid in their gut and they, they, they be needing almost. They be longing to come back. They'll go vegan maybe about two, three years tops and they come back and be like, oh, I can't do it. It ain't for everybody because really and truly they don't have to be a vegan. They don't. They just have to eat right. They just have to avoid the wheat, you know, and the dairy. And they can have, they have the most diverse amount of meats that they can consume as the old. So, like, yeah, B and um, negative, whether negative or positive, they're both going to have the same diet. 
and that's available on the diet plan. You know, we have a bunch of fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds that we can consume. Just stay away from the pork, stay away from the chicken, stay away from the soy. What else? Um, stay away from the rancid oils. You know, we have all have highly beneficial oils for our blood type too. It's on the list too. Get stop kind of like going out of what's on the list is what, what I could tell you. And so when you're ready to practice the law of, act, um, of action, you'll get the list and you'll know everything and you'll move according to that. And then you'll feel good and then you'll see your bowel movement with the integrity of your gut, your digestion, your eyes become clear and you'll have your mental clarity and everything. Look y'all, I never, I never, let me show y'all these pictures when I first, let me show you, before I go up, I'm gonna show you this here and then I'm gonna get out of here. Cause I'm like five minutes later getting out of here. Let me show y'all the picture when I first started. When I first started on my journey, let's see. How do you do this? Effects? Yeah, this is it. When I first started on my journey, I lost, um, I left all of that alone. All the meats. Because I wanted to figure out how I felt when I was digesting different things. You know, I went in to figure out me. What was good for me, for my blood type. And I'm going to show you when I, um, a couple of pictures on here. Let me get this one here if I could do this over here. Let's see. Effects. Um, green screen. Let's see. And we're going to go here. Okay. So here we go. Let me get you these pictures if I could find it. When I was heavy. I want to show you first a picture when I was kind of heavy. And it's way back here. Let's see. This is when I was heavier. Right here. And I wore glasses. Like right. I wore glasses, I was overworked, I mean overweight. Let me see why the picture ain't coming up over here. Oh, there you go. I was heavier, I was overweight, you know, I was uncomfortable, it was hard for me to breathe. You know, every time I would sit down in a chair or something, I was leaning on the side. Yeah, I was, I, yeah, I put a little, you know, I adored my face and everything, you know, but I was, I was, I was. I'm 5'2". I was up to 162 pounds. You know, I was out there after I took that picture sitting outside. I was like, look, I'm about to go inside and lay down. That's all I was doing, just laying down. Like, right? I wasn't eating for my blood type. I didn't know nothing about eating for no blood type. Or none of that. Let me see. One more. Or none of that. I was just eating. You know, I, I looked on the outside. I looked normal. Yeah, I looked normal. But I was suffering because I had mucus built up. You know, I just didn't feel my, like myself. I always was 110 pounds, right? When I was in high school and when I was younger, when I was more active. I decided one day, look, I ain't doing this no more. I ain't doing this no more. And there you go. I ain't doing this no more. I'm throwing away everything. Everything I threw away. Everything. And this is what happened to my body when I did that. There you go. That's me in front of um, Barnes & Noble when I went to go for my first book signing. That weight dropped off me overnight. My digestive system began to heal overnight. So when I begin to tell you all about the integrity of the gut, wait, my um, my one of my things about to die. When I begin to tell y'all about the integrity of the gut, that's really what I'm saying here. That's what what I'm saying based upon me knowing. My gut begin to heal, and I begin to go to the restroom, and I begin to see that the things that was inside of me that was causing me disease was coming out. And I'm talking about little critters. I'm talking about little parasites and pathogens that was inside of my body that was trying to become the host, right? I was trying to become the host. That's really what's happening to everybody. Stuff inside of you trying to become the host, trying to take over you because you put it in your body and you never gave it yourself the beneficial bacteria, uh, foods to create the beneficial bacteria in your gut to fight off the parasites. Now, we all have a level of both good and bad bacteria in our gut, right? And so we should have balance where the good ones outweigh the bad. And that's what keeps you healthier. You're not going to eliminate the bad bacteria, so to speak, completely, because we're supposed to have the so-called bad bacteria. We even get the bad so-called bacteria if we eat our healthy, highly beneficial fish, right? Because they carry bad bacteria. But if you have the proper um, hydrochloric acid, the proper digestive enzymes, if that microbiome inside of you has its integrity, you will not experience this ease or disharmony. And so this is why it's so important for you to eat the beneficial foods so you could expel that out. So it'll begin to come out. 
via that cold in your eye it'll come out be via that mucus in your in your um, nose it'll come out while you coughing up in the morning some for some people is trying to come out that way but you're not giving it the beneficial foods to help it expel all of it you're gonna put some more bread up in here you're gonna put some more mucus up in here that's against your blood type you gonna not go to the bathroom and not try to expel it knowing darn well you ain't go to the bathroom all week long but when you begin to eat for your blood type this begins to come out of your body and I'm, I'm telling you i'm telling you from basically what i know and what i've been through so let me see and so then then i um kind of got a balance see when i lose all of my weight all of my little collarbones and stuff so to book out i don't like that part because i got some big old collarbones I don't really, I'm not really a fan of, I mean, I love my collarbones, but I mean, I just want them to just be quiet. <laughs> just be a little bit more modest than what they are. And so then I begin to not care about that no more. And I begin to work out, begin to, you know, this is me building up my little confidence and stuff and love for my body all over again, working out, feeling myself like, right. And so after then, now my weight, the weight that I have on me now it's from like coconut oils because that's where I get my healthy fats from. I don't suggest any of you all use that because for A's and B's, they can't have that because of the saturated fat. I'm just telling you what keeps me plump looking because I don't really care for being my skinny itself. I like this here weight right here where I'm at. I'm happy in my skin right here where I'm at. I love myself right here where I'm at. I can breathe. I can work out. I can go hiking, I could go golfing, I could go play tennis, and I'm in love and in alignment with myself right here. I am at my happy point, and I want you to get there, and you can get there, because you can be, do, or have anything in this physical reality, okay? Y'all got that? Y'all got that? AB here, AB here, stay away from the mucus then, AB, stay away from the mucus. Thank you for your lives. It keeps the right thing on my mind. How easy we can forget to get right. Yeah, definitely. We can. We can. And we cause ourselves to suffer when we do that there. We cause ourselves to suffer. All right. Let me get this one here down. Bam. Okay, we're back. All right. Got it? Got it. What's it called? Itching after eating. Parasites. Parasites. Parasites in the gut. That's what I'm talking about with the integrity of the gut. When I say get take care of that microbiome. Okay, last thing, last thing, because I'm going over and I gotta get out of here. I got nowhere to go. I just, I just, I'm just not gonna stay too long today. <laughs> okay, so let me let, give you this one last lesson about the parasites. So a parasite has a lipid coating shield around itself. Okay, first of all, how you get the parasites? You get the parasites from maybe fishes. You know, you get, you could get parasites from being a vegan because. The parasite or little bug little critter could be on your lettuce you chew that thing it's in your gut now it lay eggs it have a life cycle it leaves larva and stuff but what it does when it get inside of you even though you don't know this and you don't feel it it creates a little nook inside of your baby digestive system it kind of like creates a home like right and it begins to suck your minerals your life force because it wants to grow and multiply and have its family it's almost like a, a bird you know nesting you know look it's building its so-called nest inside of you and so to feel this nest they're going to put a lipid coating around themselves and this is why when you get a virus or something and you go to the doctor's office they'll say oh we're going to let it run its course because there's nothing to really destroy that they can give you to destroy the so-called virus right them letting it run its course is really letting this here parasite in these pathogens grow and build this little shield and protect themselves inside of you right that's what happens. And so you just walking around, you just walking around while these things building and laying our larva and leg eggs and all this here stuff. And if you're not eating for your blood type, guess what? It's just growing and growing and growing. And you'll feel it. you feel it. Maybe when you leaning over, you'll be like, oh, something don't feel right. Or you laying down in the bed and you feel your back kind of tingling. Or after you eating, you get bloated or you have diarrhea or you have fluid feel cysts or just things just, just don't feel right up in here. That's the little parasites that they, they took over. You know, they're trying to build a little kingdom, sucking you dry, like, right? Then you start to experience deficiencies. Oh, I got, I'm low on vitamin D3. How is that? When the sun right there, but you low on it. Then you don't have no magnesium. Yeah, because the critters taking that. They like that. They can, they can thrive on that. They get more stronger than that. Just like you would get stronger from it. And, and you be in the detox. Well, it's giving them the strength instead of you. 
until you eat beneficial foods and drink and consume your beneficial oils because your oils that are beneficial for your blood type has the power to get past that film, that layer, that that layer, that, that lipid coating layer on that, that parasite build like they, they roof the house. It has the power to penetrate through that. And then if you put eating for your blood type with your herbs and your spices and stuff, now in like the alchemist oil, I did a video. You saw this on the video with your own eyes. That the the cayenne pepper and the alchemist oil and them herbs and spices, it killed the parasite in front of you on your in, in your eyes side view for you to see what would happen if you eat for your blood type. The video where I said he gonna be out like a light. Out like a light. And I kept saying that. That's what's happening inside of you when you consume the beneficial stuff. So it's healing and, and bursting through this lipid coated virus, destroying them things. So what's going to happen when they destroy? Oh, you can feel it. You might feel a little sicky. You might feel a little tired. You might have more bulk in your bowel. You might see the parasites in the toilet. You might see the flukes. You might see little dots. They look like little sesame seeds in your bowel movement. You might have foul bowel movement. You might now urinate because you're drinking your fruits and, and um, you're drinking your fruit juices and eating your fruits. And so now this is part of the lymphatic system to help you urinate. So now you might begin to urinate and your urine is a little thicker and it has settlements in it. Because why? Because now your lymphatic system is cleaning up. Now your bowel movement is cleaning up. All of this stuff is cleaning out from here, from what was in here. So it's cleaning out your blood by eating for your blood type. It's cleaning out your lymphatic system, which is the black backup for your blood system, right? And it is expelling waste and parasites and lipid coated viruses and anything that's gnawing at you. So if you itching and twitching, that's a sign that they're in there. If you're getting bloated and all, that's a sign that they're in there. If your little booty hole is tingling and you know, itching down there too, that's a sign that they're in there. So what are you gonna do, back to the law of action, what are you gonna do to get them from out of there? And that's what this whole video was about. I told you what to do. Okay? Appreciate you. Thank you, for sister. Wow. I'm inspired. First time. Thank you for being here, Rel633. I was iron and B deficient. Iron is sarsaparilla, the highest form of iron. You're welcome. Oh, God. You got it? You got it? Yay. I'm gone. Thank you for your lives. It keeps... Okay, I read that one already. I'm gone for real this time. This video was from my heart to yours. Be blessed, babe. When you're ready to do, you do. You know what to do now. Be blessed. <laughs> yeah, when you're ready, I'll be here.